Hey guys, what is up? This is Tamer from ITT, iTalk Tech, giving you all your latest news, reviews, and how-tos for everything tech. I have a video for you guys today. I'm going to be doing some benchmarks on some of the latest devices that are out in the market today. And today marks the release date of the Galaxy S Note 3. And the so we're going to compare them to the Sony Xperia Z1 and the LG G2. Now, just to be fair, I cleared out all their task and then clear the rams and everything like that all right so the first benchmark we're going to do is and to do benchmarks so we're just going to open up on the all devices we're going to put test again and yeah so this is going to text the u the uh this is going to test the ux the cpu the ram the gpu and the io so we're going to begin the test now on all three devices and i'm going to speed this video up just so it doesn't take up that long and while this is going, I'm going to be giving you some of the specifications on all these devices. So on the left, you do have your Samsung Galaxy Note 3. It was released today. Some specs are it's a 5.7 inch screen with um, 1920 by 1080 um, display. It has a pixel density of 386. It comes um, shipped with um, Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 um, featuring a 2.3 gigahertz quad core processor. Um, in the middle, we do have the Sony Xperia Z1. It is 5 inches, so it is significantly smaller than the Galaxy Note 3. It does, however, have the same um, pixels, 1920 by 1080 so it has a higher pixel density coming in at 441 um, ppi. And this is um, the Galaxy Note 3. It ships with Android 4.3, while the Sony Xperia Z1 ships with Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. And then all the way on the right, we have our LG G2. Now, the LG G2 um, has a little bit bigger display than the Sony Xperia Z1. Uh, it has a 5.2 inch display with a 1920 by 1080 pixel with um, a the pixel density of 424 ppi. All these phones come with Snapdragon 800 processors. This one has a 2.26 gigahertz um, processor and it also comes shipped with 4.2.2 Android Jelly Bean. All right, so all of our tests are finished. And as we can see for the Galaxy Note 3, we have the result of 35,260. For the Sony Xperia Z1, we have a score of 32,413. And for the LG G2, we have a score of 34,391. So the Galaxy Note 3 comes out in the top in this round with um, about 1,000 more points than the LG G2. And then the Sony Xperia Z1 comes in third place with 32,000. Uh, just to say for all the benchmarks we do in this re um, review, uh, the higher the score is, the better performing and the better um, faster processor processing um, these phones have. But benchmarks mean nothing in the real world. It's all about how you feel with your um, phone, whether you think it's all fast and everything. All these phones are fast. These are just numbers. The numbers don't mean anything on the, until you get the phone in your hands. So we're going to start with our next, next benchmark, which is going to be um, Quadrant Standard, which is a lot of people use them because it's a really nice benchmark. So we're just going to start this, and I'm going to fast forward this and play a little bit of music for you guys. Alright, so they seem to have finished. So we're just going to say proceed. And as we can see on the left, we have the Galaxy Note 3 coming at coming in at 21,508 points. We have the Sony Xperia Z1 coming in at 17,650. And we have the LG G2 coming at 19,842. So these are very close, as we can see. They're all pretty fast um, processing. The only um, the thing, Samsung Galaxy Note 3 comes out in top again uh, with, I believe, it looks like about a thousand difference between the LG G2 
and then about a 2000 difference between between the LG G2 and the Sony Xperia Z1. So again, Galaxy Note 3 comes in first place, LG G2 comes in second place, and Sony Xperia Z1 comes in in third. Alright, so the next benchmark we're going to be doing is called Geek Bench 3. So we're just going to open this up. Alright, so we're just going to run these benchmarks and I'm going to play a little bit of music for you guys again. Alright, so the Gal Samsung Galaxy Note 3 finished first with a score of 938 on single core and then 3000 on the multi core. Uh, the Sony Xperia Z1 finished um, second with 895 for single core and 2527 for multi core. And then the LG G2 comes in at third place with 749 for single core and 2021. As you can see, the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 also came out in first place again for the third straight time in all the benchmarks with a pretty significant lead uh, about a 500 difference between the Sony Xperia Z1 and then about maybe another 500 difference for the LG G2 Alright guys, so this wraps up my benchmark review of all three of the latest devices, Samsung Galaxy Note 3, Sony Xperia Z1, and the LG G2. Hope you guys liked this. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. Peace.